Our series all in on AI. This morning we're taking a look at implicit bias and, and AI image generators. Common Sense Media says that the tech can exhibit sexism and racism. Becky Rule is here with how parents can talk to kids about the issue. Good morning, Becky. George, good morning. Artificial intelligence bots can answer questions and create images based on your requests. But how do those results influence our kids, especially when they could be loaded with implicit bias, sexism, and in some cases, racism? Common Sense Media has just given one AI image generator its lowest rating, and we wanted to understand why. No photographer snapped this picture. It was created using Stable Diffusion, an artificial intelligence image generator. What is AI image generation? It's a form of generative AI which allows for anyone to put in a prompt of what they want to see and the AI will create an entirely new image based on that description. Tracy Pizzofray of Common Sense Media shows me the way some artificial intelligence image generators like Stable Diffusion can show implicit bias, racism, and sexism. She tells the AI to create images of a poor white person. And remember, these are not real photos. Poor white person? Correct. That's not a poor white person? No, it is not. Why does it do that? It is looking for how to generate images of poverty. And the majority of the images of poverty show people of color. But she says that this bias comes not from the AI engine itself, but from the millions of data points it pulls from that pair people of color with poverty. In other words, it's a reflection of what's on the internet. Now we should add every query returns different results and some do generate more images of poor white people. But then she tries a generic prompt for an attractive person. This represents white women who are all thin, very pretty. And in her research, when she typed in software engineer, almost all white men. As a female in tech, I find this insulting. Not all results are this biased, but they can be racist, sexist, and in some cases, explicit. Something Shorojit Kosh says he found in his research of multiple AI image generators like Stable Diffusion and others. AI models um, replicate and reinforce and make bigger the biases that real people already have. It will give you answers that might be potentially racist, might be potentially sexist, might just potentially not be true. Stable Diffusion tells ABC we have implemented a number of mitigations to address emerging risks, including amplifying bias or errors in training data. We're taking steps to address these risks and fine-tuning to help mitigate undesirable behaviors. We expect to be able to reduce bias and improve the accuracy of outputs. Something Google wanted to avoid with its latest model, Gemini, but failed, admitting they got it wrong after some of the images were historically inaccurate. Now saying they are temporarily pausing the image generation of people. More proof it's challenging to get it right. In the meantime, Common Sense has issued guidance for parents about how to help kids use AI. Generative AI is not designed to be factual. And whether that is an image generator or a large language model chatbot like a ChatGPT, there is an opportunity for parents to have conversations with their children about what is incorrect. For parents, this is a tricky new technology that merits some awareness. I was really impressed with the resources at the Common Sense website, and I think parents of school-aged kids should go take a spin around that content to learn more about AI, both the concerns, like implicit bias, and the incredible power of this technology that our kids will most certainly be dealing with for years to come, George. And what did you learn about how parents should talk to their kids about this? Well, the big takeaways for me as a parent, tell my kids that image generators um, and image creators like uh, that also you do uh, text answers like ChatGPT, they're really new. They're not established technology that can be fully trusted yet. Teach kids to question the writing, images, and posts that AI tools create. Common Sense says, ask your kids, how did AI come up with that answer? What information did it use to find the answer? And they add, generative AI is currently better for fiction 
not fact. That's mm -hmm. so important. Then we look at the issue of racism because these AI tools use data that may have implicit bias baked in. The results will reflect that implicit bias, and that's a bigger problem than just AI. That's a societal issue, uh, George. That yeah, parents are really going to have to be on this. Okay, mm -hmm. Becky, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.